everybody. Welcome back to Debbie's World. So guess what this is? This is a Goodwill blue box that I ordered. I've been getting these for about six months and I wanted to start doing videos to share all of my exciting finds. And um, basically I'm wearing gloves because it's filthy dirty. You go through these boxes and your hands are black. So because I know everyone really wants to see the real deal, they don't want you to sort it and then do a video, uh, I'm gonna wear gloves today. So don't, I'm, I'm sorry if that bothers anyone. But anyway, it's only because of how dirty, and I thought you'd rather see gloves than dirty fingers. Anyway, so this box, this came from Tennessee. It was $44 plus shipping. And um, this is what is in here. Looks like there's quite a mix of everything wood and some brass but anyway let's just put this to the side and we're going to start going through it so i basically am looking for gold silver diamonds precious stones uh, artisan jewelry and anything that i think is pretty uh, so i will be selling on ebay uh, possibly poshmark down the road you can buy also from here if you see something just do the timestamp or take a picture or just write down what it is and let me know and we can talk about it uh also i'm gonna keep uh, some of it for myself because i already see things that i love okay so let's start first thing i see is a bracelet it's a a cuff big cuff Ugh. so i have a very tiny tiny wrist so this is for a tiny wristed person. Um, it's pretty heavy. Um, I, I probably would sell this, but it's a nice piece. Not much else to say about that. Here's another bracelet. I love this. I know exactly what this is already. It's a magnet, love. So I'm heavy duty into silver tone white gold platinum and silver love so i um, will be keeping this one so as you can see that's a nice find i don't think it's sterling um, let's see here let me get my trusty magnet so yes yeah, it's not sterling it's just a metal but that's okay i love it so that's the first one that i'm going to be keeping um, I don't see any marks on it. I don't know. It has a little bit of weight to it. Nice, nice. Here is a diamond encrusted silver tone earring. It doesn't uh, have any uh, marks inside. So we'll see if we can find the match to this one. This looks like a vintage pin. And let's see, what do we see on the back? I see a mark, it says Tara. Don't know much about that, I'll look up that. I'll have on here in the corner probably after I do some research what this is or if this has any intrinsic value. I don't think it's gold. Sorry guys. Okay, it's not sticking. I wonder what metal that is. So we'll check that. See what's the metal on that one. Okay. So I have a bag filled with wood jewelry, which I'm going to be doing probably a big lot. I'll be putting putting that on eBay. But this is wood. Um, I don't know if it's vintage. I don't know what this is. I mean, we're hoping it's not ivory. Is it considered bone? I don't know. It is a choker style. So if you're interested on this one, let me know. But I am gonna probably shove this in the bag with all the, I probably have about 50 pieces of wood, just wood jewelry. It's pretty, but not, not my style. Okay, what do we have here? All right, this is, oh, what happened there? That was my ring. Okay, this is safety pins. 
This jewelry is safety pins and beads. Um, I don't know. It's different, huh? Oh yeah, you can see the safety pin right there. Oh, look at the green right there. Anyway, that's interesting. A lot of bracelets in there, you guys. Okay, so this is like a Marcosite bracelet. Like, um, I can just see what there's. It's a silver tone, I think. Eh, it's pulling, so it's not pure silver. And I don't know if those are glass or what. Um, I'll let you know in the corner here after I test that. But that's pretty. I like that. Hmm. Nice. It's got some weight to it. Awesome. Pretty. Oh my goodness. So it definitely feels like it's not not glass. Got little gold beads in between. It's really long. Let me put that on my Stand it so I can show you. Let's see here. It's pretty. It's a pretty piece. It's hard to do because it's not closed. Oh, look, it's got a closure there. And then it has another closure. Oh, maybe it's just broken. Okay, so this needs to be fixed. But anyway, it's pretty. It's very pretty. It's a good copy of uh, glass gemstone type beads. I like that. Okay. Um, I think I see some copper in this. I don't think it's real sterling. no mark. Oh wait, there is a mark. Okay, it does say, I think that says 925. Let me see. Okay, so that does say, it's already gotten dirty here. It does say 925 right there, so we'll test it. I don't know, and we'll see if we can find a mate for it. heart necklace. Um, let's see. So it's not picking it up. Might be sterling. So it has um, magnetized back. And it looks like a white leather. I don't know if that's leather or vinyl. It is pretty. Yeah, that's a nice little necklace. I like that. I don't think it opens. Anyway, that. that's cute. Ooh, look at this. Gosh. Ugh. So you can see. 
see the copper in this one too. Look at all these rhinestones. And guess what? They're all there. Wow. Okay. So let me tell you something. If, oh, it's a clamping hinged bracelet. There is a mark inside. Let me look. I don't think so. Okay. But check this out. If you're going to like a black tie event and you're wearing an expensive dress and you have a couple of expensive rings, you could get away with this. I, I think so. Like if you're already wearing diamonds and you're already wearing a beautiful black tie outfit and you're going to some fancy thing, I honestly think you could get away with wearing this. Could you wear this to the Walmart or to the gym? No. But you could wear something like this mixed in with your real jewelry. I like this. I think I want to keep it. It's pretty. I don't know. I keep too much. What do we have here? Okay, there is a pin. Um, So I'm gonna let you know, I don't call pins brooches. I never will. This is a pin, okay? A brooch, I think, is a larger pin that would go on the uh, under the neck, on the clothing in the colonial times. I don't know. But for me, these are pins. There's the pin. So yeah, this is a pin. It's got, um, it's got like, well, I don't know what that is. We, it's called something, right? We've got maybe brass and maybe sterling. Let's see. Nope, nope. So it's just, I don't know. Is it old? I, I don't know, I'll research it. But here you go. It looks like grapes. Interesting, it needs a good cleaning. Bracelets. Okay. Oh, this is dirty or it cracked or something. I don't know. Anyway, this like it's like burl wood. You know those burl wood tables that people were buying in the 70s? It reminds me of that. It's got some weight to it. It's actually kind of pretty. Um bangle. I like that. Let me know if you'd be interested in this one. It kind of looks like an apple too, huh? Like a nice red apple. Okay, here we have a uh, beaded These are glass beads, um, and then this is, I don't think this is sterling because there's so many brassy color tones. There is a mark that says RMN, so I'll have to look that up. Uh, not bad, so if you're looking for, uh, it needs to be cleaned up for sure. So if you're looking for something like this to go with something for an evening outfit, maybe. So it's got uh, rhinestone balls. We've got two here, one there. Looks pretty double. I like that. It's pretty. Have an earring that is stuck. Okay, so we have a single earring. Um, this is a glass bead. Um, I think this might be some type of pottery, and then maybe brass. And a brass bead at the bottom. 
interesting. So let's see if we can find the, the mate to go with that. the dirt. Okay. This is a silver tone, pretty, kind of a modern, contemporary. I like that. That's pretty. This is New York. Is that New York and Company? I don't know, but that's pretty, huh? I like that. And uh, it's not magnetizing. But I oh here, it's magnetizing. Some parts of it are. So not silver, but pretty. Next we have this. This is really pretty. It's blue like crystal stones. Um, they're not glass though, they're more plasticky. So it's very long, so it's double stranded. This would be like a triple strand. Really pretty, super beautiful colors of blues. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And then it's got like little rhinestones and silver tone beads in between. So let's put this on the form. Let's see how that looks. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, you could probably triple fly it. Not bad, not bad. It's very pretty, very contemporary. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I like this one too. I like those colors. I love those blue colors. So pretty. That looks pretty. Uh, it looks like jade. I don't think it is, but it's pretty. Reminds me of like like rice paper. I like that. So we'll try and get a match on that one. And then we have oh let's see. Okay, I have a bunch of earrings mixed in here. Ooh. So we have another bracelet. Tiny though. This is definitely for a child, because I have a tiny wrist. I can get it on, okay, but it's tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Um, it's silver tone. Well, I'll test it. It's not, I don't think it's silver, but, and I, I think that might be glass. Glass stone. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad.
doing some work. We'll see if we can find the mate on that one. And we've got this, which is, um, I also have these we can look at. I got all these different things so that I could feature my earrings and things. It's kind of cool. So it's a little drop. It's a glass. Has like an interesting swirl pattern inside. See if it's magnetized. Oops. All right, we'll test it to see if it's sterling. I'll let you know. And then this is, I don't know, a mess. I think I'll just re-donate this one. Okay. Look how tiny that is. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't even think I can get that on. T. It's like a, a resin and a gold. Trina Turk, is that what that is? Is that the, I think so, wow. Well, that may have some serious value. I will even have to check into that. I'll let you know. That's cool. Fairly large heart drop earring. Wow, with flowers, so pretty. I think that is so pretty. It's huge though, it's as big as my hand almost. How pretty is that? Oh, wait, let me check and see if it's sterling. Oh, nope, nope. It's not, it, it's all right. Not my style, but maybe. Um, if you like it, just let me know. I need to fix it to see why this isn't, seems to be, I don't know. And it doesn't have a mark. like mother of pearl and let's see are these sterling oh we'll have to test it but that's really pretty i like that oh it has a tag let's see it says ak so what is that ann klein ann klein ann klein sorry upside down let me see if it's on the form for you This box is not disappointing. I'm happy. Okay. See, that's the whole thing is that you find all kinds of interesting things in these boxes. It, it could be worth it. So, have we made up for the 44 plus the shipping? I don't know. This one right here. This one? Yeah. This one may have already paid for everything. This, this little one cuff bracelet. Hopefully. Okay, so look at this. This is pretty. 
seems like it's wood. It's kind of beat up. Um, I'll probably re-donate this. It is missing some things. But it's pretty. Nice bright colors for spring. We have another thing to put bracelets on. I like a display, but that doesn't really. I thought this might work, but I can't really see it. Alright. So, it's little silver balls intertwined. It's got a little tea clasp. See how it kind of pulls? I, I don't think it is. But it is pretty. It needs to be straightened out. It's pretty. Alright. Here we have a hinged bracelet. Very pretty. It's got a nice design. I don't think this is gold, right? I just can't imagine that it is. That would be crazy, right? But it's beautiful. So let me tell you about this. The reason this is so nice is see the shape? Look at the difference. If you're ever looking at bracelets, okay. So here you have a bangle, right? And then you have this. The reason this is really nice is it's, it doesn't move around a lot on your it's a nice, fancy, I mean, it's a more expensive way of making a bracelet like this. Because see how it just sits pretty? You know, it's not gonna bang on things. I love this. This was made very well. I can't imagine this is a junky thing. This must have been something designer. So I'll do some research and I'll let you know. No marks though. This is pretty. Look at those colors. How gorgeous. Those are so pretty. So AB crystal in between. Then we have a larger green and a different color green balls. So these are balls and these are a little bit different. It has this type of a clasp. be sterling. Is not returnable tag removed and it says sterling forever shine bright and it's one of those like you can make it tighter or looser I guess and then it has a bar at the front that says 
shine bright. And then inside it says, Sterling Forever. I don't know what that is. You think it's the name of the company? I don't know. It's not picking it up, so we'll test that. Even with my loop, I can't tell you what that says. Anyway, it's a fairly long. And let's see here. It's very long. So it has gray pearls and sort of a pinky color pearl. It's nice. Oh, there's a ring. I like rings. So this is like a hammered. Another thing to show you, so you can put the rings on here. Yeah, not sure. Let's see. Wow, this could be pure sterling silver. Let's see if there's any marks. It's hard to see. Well, I will test this one and let you know, but this is a, a fairly beautiful I don't think, is this a male? I think this is, well, I guess it could be male or female. Cool though. Needs a good shiny. I could clean that up. It does look kind of worn. I don't know. I don't know if it's real or what this is. I don't see any brass or copper peeking through. This is pretty. Okay. Here we have just nothing, beadlocked. It's missing a stone. Here is a black and silver tone earring. It's a clip on. future, the story begins with once upon a time. Wow. I don't know anything about this. I'll have to look it up. Um, it's like in plus in like Lucite. looks really old. I don't know. Cool. Here, this is what it looks like on my wrist. Very nice. Nice. and things are all like in set in this lucite maybe wood nah there's a pin gold tone what's interesting about this is that there's a design inside you know usually you don't I always think if I see a design inside it must be, must be something fancy Plastic though. This is not glass. I can't imagine this is gold. Well, yeah, it's magnetizing. Okay. See, we're starting to get into the knots. Okay, 
Here's another wood piece from my wood collection. It's on a corded. It's definitely beat up. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about this. I, I wouldn't even want anyone to buy this, but in my other collection, it's all right. It's old. I mean, someone wore this quite a bit at some point. It, it doesn't have any marks. a yellowish tone to it. I don't know if it's sterling or what it is. No marks. Very cool. Put it on the form here for you. Lays down nice. Pretty. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't magnetize. This could be sterling. This could also have paid for the box. See, all you need are a few of these things and you pay for the box. Very pretty, very, very. I'll let you know in the corner here, over here, over here, <laughs> what I discovered in my editing about this. Okay. Oh, we have two earrings. Wow, that's a miracle. These look like AB rhinestone. You know what I mean? AB crystal, but it's, I've never seen anything like this before. It's like every color is in there. Wow, that is so cool. Uh, no name, no name. That is glass. That is so pretty. Those are very pretty. some progress here. We have a single fat uh, earring, gold tone maybe. It's not magnetizing, we'll test it for gold. Could you imagine if that was gold? Come on, wow. It's a pretty, it's light, but it's got some, it's a pretty big earring. So we'll be testing that. pretty the only thing with these beaded things on the plastic is it doesn't sit see they don't sit nicely on your neck so maybe this was made by someone but anyway stone is pretty here we have an earring nice drop earring i like that it's pretty with a little iron match on that This is missing. This is a bangle. It's 
and you see all kinds of different things. So, but okay. And good luck. And good luck. A praying necklace. These are plastic and these look like cat eye. I don't know. They're glass. Okay, we've got uh, another bangle. This is the bangle box, if ever. So this is a gold tone, or maybe gold, yay. Let's see. Oh, does it magnetize? Not really. I will test this for gold. That'd be cool. There are no marks inside that I can see, but it's definitely pretty. That'd be nice if that was real. Wow. So it has like the satin finish and then the star parts are shiny and then the edges are shiny. Huh. everything is pretty <laughs> okay okay so it's not silver but it is pretty anyway um it has a name i i know what this is but i can't remember right now see that i know what that is but i can't remember so that is somebody so that's pretty very pretty it's like a shorter more choker style and then we have another wooden light. It reminds me of like macaroni beads, macaronis, but it's wood. So that's that. And then we have a necklace, a bracelet. Hey, look, we're almost at the bottom, kind of. Let's see. Oh, these are gray. What is this? Quite tame. Let me see. So if you get these boxes, I mean, this is part of it. It's untangling. Boxes that have no tangles. Sometimes they're all tangles. So this has a beautiful tea clasp. And these are so pretty. They're like a maroon, right? Like a pinky maroon pearl. Love you. You are mine. That is so pretty. I love that. definitely want that to be a part of my collection. That is just gorgeous. Everything about it is gorgeous. It's heavy. They're really beautiful. I wonder what they are. I mean, I wonder if they're just like, well, we'll look. We'll let you know. Figure out what these are. I was dragging the other one down. Um, this is another. This one's like gold gold tone. It is pretty. It has like that cat eye looking orange, but these are not glass. Let me see. These are like lucite or plastic, but it's different. It's pretty. It's not bad. These are plastic beads, and this is 
is like, you know, cha-cha. We call it cha-cha. Cha-cha! It's a cha-cha necklace. Yeah, no, not my type. Here we have another wooden necklace. Very long, very cool. Um, doesn't have any marks. Not silver. Very long, but let me just show you this part of it. Let's see. It's pretty. Yeah. Different. Okay, we have a earring. Okay. Uh, not gold. I mean, not silver. So this looks like, um, these are, this is an Asian piece, and these are pottery, and then we have wood. some blue these are plastic these are these came together no marks earrings and the rest of this is very knotted so let's see if I can find something interesting otherwise I think we'll continue this on the next video okay beautiful pin beautiful 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 Love this black. All of the stones are there. They're like a black rhinestone. It's on like a gunmetal. There are some clear rhinestones. The back has its pin. It's a starburst flower. It's really pretty. Love this. just a little black bangle. It kind of looks like it's supposed to be mother of pearl, but it's just an inlay. This is cool. Titanic. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at the back. Wow, how cool is that? So pretty. It's like a faceted giant pendant love. Plastic, rhinestones, brushed metal of some sort. Nah. See, all of this is way too much. There's a ring, uh, cute, cute ring. Let's see, Icky's. Okay, check it out. Look at that. I love that. Yeah. It makes noise. It jingles. That could be sterling. I like you. Pretty. So cool. Love. Another love. <laughs> okay, what's this? Oh, look at this. Okay, crystals with some wiring. I someone must have made this. Yeah. I don't know. It's okay. It's different, huh? It's kind of different. Okay. It's different. Love it. Okay. So they have. Kind of in tangle zone here. Oh, here, here's a non-tangled thing. So we have a silver tone, fake pearl.
pearl, very light necklace, no name. And this is pretty. Hematite, I think they call that hematite. Cool. So it's got a little Got like the little screw type closure, and then it's got the hematite beads and the hematite kind of different shapes. Not bad, not bad. It's pretty. Plastic stretchy. This is like that other one that had the adjustable, remember that earlier in the video? Okay, so this has got, it says love, and it's got rhinestones, and they're all there, and then it's got like a little copper heart, and then it has a, a rhinestone heart here, pretty. light. This is just going to a big lot. This is a mess. It's all broken up. Okay. And we've got, ooh, what's this? This looks like an anklet. This is more of an anklet. Sounds, um, I don't think it's real. bracelet. We've got an earring. What's that? Like? That's pretty. Potential. And look at this. This looks interesting. Let me get that on the form. Double strand it. It is plastic. Pretty Valentine's Day, I guess. Uh, no name. Made well, though. But these are definitely plastic. Pretty. Oh, no. Cha cha. Oh, what is this? So that's pretty. if it's like dual-sided so you could wear it like that or you could wear it like that I guess another plastic stretchy oh look at this please return to Tiffany and Company New York 925 I wish it's got some you can see some copper and also I know for a fact I've seen this in the real deal this is not right this is this little clasp right here, right here, is wrong. That wouldn't be, it would be the big one into the hole. So we know this is a counterfeit. Oh, well, that would have been cool. Okay, another gold tone bangle. Um, this is weird, don't know. This looks like, I think these are toe rings. Oh, here's a ring. that to see what that is gorgeous 
I don't see any brass or any wear. Wow. Nice. Very nice. Very neat inside though that I can see. Maybe there is some copper. I don't know. I'll let you know. A little earring with a fake pearl. fairly contemporary. You can wear that with a white t-shirt and some jeans. That's cute. Let's look. it was so it has something a chain it looks like a real sterling silver chain is mixed in i have to unknot that off camera oh another ring yay <gasps> look at that pretty pink with two channel are those called channel set diamond type things <laughs> i don't know i'll have to look into this one i mean obviously it's pretty. It is. I wonder if it's like a wish.com deal. <sighs> okay, I'll let you know. Um, this is another fairly heavy. Uh, this one's heavy. Let's see if there's a name on this one. Name, name, name on the class. Oh, there is. Okay. So the class bag says Leah Sophia. I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think that's an expensive company, right? I don't know. It's it's got some wear. I'm sorry. It's just a mess. It's really top heavy. Strange, strange necklace. Okay. have a pair on this yeah okay so we found a pair on something that's pretty i like those those are pretty oh another ring oh no look yay look at this blue stone let me see that's glass and silver maybe oh look how pretty look at the leaves are interesting. AB crystal. And I'd like a brushed metal. Oh, these are a pair. So there's both of them. Okay. Cool. Yay. I like those. Gold tone, brushed gold tone, or oh, like a copper maybe, but I like the little AB crystals. Southwestern earring here with some blue, like turquoisiness. Don't know if that's sterling. Interesting. And uh, some plasticness here. It says 1999. Hmm. Okay, so we have 
a pair of the Southwestern earrings that I showed you a minute ago. And here is another crystally tent drop earring. Pretty. And here's the mate to that rock one. A little drop, interesting swirl rock. See what's in there. We have a, a stretchy crystal bracelet. And oh look, we have the match to the other one that I just showed you. Yay! Pretty. And okay. So let's see what's in this bag. sort of a like an amber color and clear color pretty this look at this what is this so pretty um it looks like it's sterling silver and then it's got like gold beads i have no idea what this is none Research it. And then we've got another drop earring with a pretty red stone. I like that. And gold tone drop earring. And a ring. There's another ring. that. I do have my diamond tester that is buried under all of the jewels. Okay, wait. So, we will do. I have my little diamond tester. So, let's turn this puppy on and give it a second. Uh, and let's see what else I see. Okay, we have uh, what's this? Oh, that's pretty. It's a cross with a little rhinestone. See if the diamonds are real in this earring. Nope. 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 Wah, wah, wah. Oh, wait. Okay, so. You know, that is. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait! Wait, wait a second. That's crazy. I just assumed it was fake. Okay, there's the diamond in the middle. Wow. Let me do that again. That's crazy. So that, see now it's not moving. Wait. Ah. I have to test that. I have to, it looks like it might be real. That would pay for the box, OMG. <gasps> wow, what the heck? No way, no way, no way. 
Well, I don't want to get my hopes up. Let me test it further and I'll let you know in the corner over here. And that's it. That's it for today, you guys. Oh, I hope you enjoyed my first Goodwill Blue Box unboxing from Tennessee. You know, this is sort of a learning experience for me because I'm used to doing you know, videos where you're looking at me. So I, I don't know that this black is working because it does show every little dust bunny. But anyway, I'm gonna keep doing these. I love them. I have many boxes to explore with you and I've just ordered even a new one as of two days ago. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And if you would like to purchase anything, let me know. And if you have any questions or please comment. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe. I'm trying to like start up my channel again and it would really help me out. So anyway, have a great week, you guys. Take care, bye.